girl dark and lovely aka robin and welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time seeing the mug i'm gonna need you to go ahead and click that subscribe button and become part of the dark night squad we lit over here i'm your good sis you my good sis and today it's another cooking video really quickly it's already 9 12. um we're gonna pretend that it's a little bit earlier um, so we are going to do a quick meal today uh, I made this plenty of times. I absolutely love it. I found this recipe on Pinterest. If you don't follow me on Pinterest, you should follow me on Pinterest. You already know the name. It's dark and lovely. I'll put it across the screen. And I think the link for it is also down in the description. But it's like a, a pasta kale dish. <laughs> um, it's a pasta kale dish. Literally, it doesn't have any meat in it. Um, I've made a variation of this on my channel in the past. I, I think I made it with some squash, I, I believe so. So we're gonna do the same variation, but I have those oyster mushrooms in the refrigerator that I need to use that I don't wanna go to waste. So that's gonna be my meat substitute in this. And uh, we're gonna cook it on the grill top. We're gonna season it up and grill it on the uh, griddle and uh, we're gonna make a garlic lemon cheese sauce and toss it with some whole grain penne um, noodles. Honestly, I like to do spaghetti or linguine if I have it. I do have this organic tri-colored spaghetti that I picked up from Trader Joe's that I might use instead of this. I mean, it's not whole grain, but I want some kind of, I want, I want spaghetti. So we're gonna put the whole grain back. You saw in my last video, I just uh, uploaded. I made this and it's literally just a, um, a roasted vegetable kind of like a uh, saute, well, a roasted vegetable melody. Uh, it's only the vegetables that I have with me. So we're gonna do the onions, we're gonna do the bell peppers, and we're gonna do the tomatoes. And we're just gonna roast that in the oven on 400 degrees. It's very simple. You just cut it all up, put it on a baking sheet, season it, and um, put it in the oven and let it toast to your liking. Everything else is going to be very simple. That's gonna take the longest. So let's go ahead and get that done while it's still not so late.
okay so of course my camera overheated because i'm cooking look i'm all hot and sweaty <laughs> it overheated um so it's in the refrigerator right now trying to cool off because it's real hot because it cut off at 18 and normally i can go to like 24. um so yeah so the key to making this dish is letting this pasta come to room temperature okay i took the mushrooms off of the griddle and i'm getting ready to chop them up they are damn near some would say burnt but they're well done and we're gonna chop these up and we're gonna chop the parsley up so the key is to not let the parmesan cheese that you use melt you want the parmesan cheese to coat the noodles as opposed to melting and like making a parmesan sauce or something no it's supposed to coat this so when you're eating the noodles you get little beads of a parmesan so the thing is still on um, this is in no way a health conscious dish I mean it is because there's no meat the butter the cheese the olive oil the roast the oven roasted veggies it all adds its own little flavor to it so more cooking videos for the five of y'all that be asking for them. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you do try this, post on you know Instagram or something. Tag me. I would love to see it, recreate it. So yeah, once again, thanks. Any questions, comment down below. I'm hot and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.